Good day, friends of Back Bay Mission. I am here at the Mission House um, today, not at my desk. I've kind of been all over the place today, but I'm going to share a little bit kind of about, about today's um, events. So um, it's going to get cold here again in beautiful Biloxi, Mississippi. A few days ago, it was like 20 degrees. It was icy. We had a late start. I believe that was Tuesday because our bridges were frozen over. Well, not frozen over, but the bridges have metal. Um, our lift bridges and <clears throat> people couldn't get across and it was dangerous but what I found out um, on that day is that was also the day that my family up north in Boonville and in Hernando and in um, kind of the northern part of the state they basically been iced in almost since then um, so they're going to be iced in through through Monday as far as I know because the cold snap is headed our way again and strange thing is, up in Boonville, um, where my family's at, Boonville and, and uh, kind of the Tunica area, if you're familiar with that, or Hernando, that is, we're talking, it's, it's about 15 degrees up there right now. So they're iced in, um, lots of cars off, and, and it kind of makes me think a bit about our unsheltered friends. Now fortunately, tonight we have a cold weather shelter that's going to be open here on the coast because we're getting down to the 20s again. Um, but there's nothing 24-7, 365 days a week for people to get out of the cold, get out of the heat. We do have our day center, which fortunately is open from 8 to 4. They can get out of the cold and the heat, but of course not on the weekends because we don't want to work our staff 80 hours, right? So for me, that's, that's one of the things I would look for in your own community. Is there an overnight shelter? Is there a place where people can safely be? Because right now, it seems like all across the country, the East Coast, um, some on the West Coast, the mid part of our country, we're all in freezing temperatures, I believe, due to climate change and um, our climate is changing. It's heating up, it's also cooling off more, um, and there's, there's more extremes. And so consider that, looking in your own community and seeing what's available. Now yesterday morning, I was delayed a bit coming to Back Bay because I took one of our unsheltered friends, who I happened to see near my home, because near my home, I live close to the railroad tracks, behind the railroad tracks are some woods, and that's where some of our homeless friends live in tents. And one of them was sitting on the side of the road, I could tell, very frozen, um, was, sh was shivering as I, I drove out of the street onto Irish Hill where the railroad track is at. And I stopped, and somebody I know, because they walk by my house frequently to go to the beach, and I said, are you okay? And, and he said, no, I think I might have some frostbite. And I said, well, hop in the car, we'll take you to the hospital. But it's somebody I know, I'm a male, I'm comfortable doing that, I know not everybody is. But just look out for each other, and look out for people. The one thing today that happened that I'm unhappy about was we had one of our, our individuals who's probably in his early 30s, I would say, and um, he has, has been at Back Bay Mission accessing services, showers, laundry, clean clothing, um, case management, now for some time, but he's really spiraled out with medications and drugs, um, opioids and other illegal drugs besides the opioids, and um, he, um, we, had to, we had to take him off of our property today because he's been banned for the last few weeks because of erratic behavior, because there was an altercation, he punched somebody in the parking lot, and so I had to go down to the police station and file a report, which very honestly, I hate to do on any of our unsheltered friends because I think life is hard enough as it is, but I also felt that this would be the better thing for him because he could spend the weekend in jail, maybe get sober, um, at least from whatever substances he's using, um, and then maybe um, get the kind of help he needs, right? Because that's part of the stipulation and I am going to commit it to being there when he's released on Monday or Tuesday uh, the police are going to call me, have a conversation, interaction, intervention, if you will, with him to say, hey, you need to get some help. You can't be back on our property if you're going to act up, get in altercations, um, and also be disruptive. So those are some of the really hard, difficult things. And for myself, doing some recovery work around Al-Anon and around um, substance abuse myself, because I come from a family um, with alcoholics, and another staff member, we were discussing this and saying how difficult it is because if you're in the middle of your addiction, if you're in the middle of, of your substance abuse, 
um, you don't recognize it. You don't see it. Like I shared with this individual today as the police were picking him up, I said, do you remember that you've been banned? And he said, no, I don't remember that. But part of it is you kind of live in an alternative reality if you're medicated, if you're using substances. And so those are things for you just to think about yourself personally. Um, because, you know, I had family members who, who drank every night and um, came home from work, would get on a quart or a couple quarts of beer um, and drink until um, they fell asleep. And those are always warning signs, right? Issues. Now there wasn't other substance abuse happening, but, but that was kind of it. And of course, in many ways, I was kind of happy when this family member fell asleep because then they weren't angry and they weren't raging, right? So <laughs> it's, it's kind of a, the sides of two coins. So today I just want to wish you well. Um, stay warm. Do what you can for our unsheltered friends. Um, if you have some services in your own community, make sure you support them, you volunteer, you do what you can to make a difference. Um, and continue to send back Bay Mission some really good vibes and, and prayers because the work we do here is beautiful work, but some days it's really challenging and um, can, be, can be disappointing when you have to go down to the police department and file a report, um, which you would rather not do, but you also know that that may be the very best thing for this individual. So blessings on your day. Uh, may you stay warm and healthy uh, emotionally and physically and spiritually. So thank you for joining us. And uh, just just remember, uh, my favorite, it's always been my favorite, it's not just because it's, it's our catchphrase at, at Back Bay Mission, but do justice, love kindness, and really, really show mercy and walk humbly. Walk humbly in the world. Um, because we live in a world that's severely divided now. And the more humbly we walk and the more justice we do and the more kindness we share, um, and the more compassion we share, the better off our whole world is going to be. So thank you for joining me. Continue to support Back Bay Mission with your prayers, with your good energies and your good vibes, and also with your pocketbook. Thank you.